Welcome to Appsol Subscriptions. Today we will look over the full onboarding of the Appsol Subscriptions app, including creating your first subscription plan, adjusting the subscription widget, and enabling the subscription widget on your Shopify theme. Afterwards, we'll do a test order to examine the customer experience and review the major sections in the Appsol Subscription app. From the onboarding screen, select Next to make your first subscription plan. Subscription plans determine which product on your storefront will display the subscription widget and what billing frequencies you will offer for those subscriptions. Select Create Plan to get started. From this menu, we can add products to your subscription plan. We can either add individual products or browse a collection. For today's example, we will add a product called Basic Subscription Box. Click Add to add it to your subscription plan. Our next step is to add a frequency to your subscription plan. Frequencies determine how often orders are generated for subscriptions. Select Edit to find how to change that frequency. You can either choose a pay-as-you-go plan or one of our many prepaid options. The pay-as-you-go plan will bill the customer for each individual shipment, such as billing once a month for a monthly shipment. Prepaid options will bill customers for multiple shipments all at once, such as billing upfront for the next 12 monthly shipments. If you need help finding the right billing type, select on the icon below to read our article about billing types. The display content settings will show the customer facing labels for your subscription plan, including the name as well as the description you can write for that subscription plan. Descriptions are optional, but feel free to write whatever you like in the description box. The next setting is charging on specific days. By default, you will charge customers on the same day of the month that they bought the subscription. You can choose any day of the month, or if you have a weekly subscription, you can choose any day of the week to charge your customers. The next section is offering incentives. Many subscriptions will offer a discount. In this example, we'll offer a 10% discount for the subscription. Additionally, we can add discount changes over time based on the billing cycle. In this example, we'll leave this blank, but you can go ahead and play around with it and add more discounts over time as your customers stay with your subscriptions. Our last section is the policies section. The inventory policy will allow you to decide when the inventory is updated after a subscription sale, either upon sale or when you fulfill that order. The cancellation policy will allow you to decide when customers can cancel their subscription. Choosing two or more orders will mean that customers can only cancel after they have successfully billed that many orders. Lastly, the automatic expiration allows the subscription to expire after a certain amount of orders. Select Done once you finish setting up all of these settings for your subscription plan, and click Save. You can change this subscription plan at any time in the Appsol subscription settings. Our next step is to change the labels of our subscription widget. The right panel shows a live preview of the labels to change here. In this example, we will change subscribe and save to subscription. As you can see on the right panel, subscribe and save is now subscription. You can change any of these labels at any time within the settings of the subscription app. Once you have finalized your labels, select next to go to the last step of our onboarding. Our last step is to enable the app embed onto your Shopify theme. Select open Shopify theme setting to go to your Shopify theme editor. We will automatically enable the app embed for you. Select save in the top right corner to fully enable the Absol subscriptions widget onto your Shopify theme. Congratulations. Now you have enabled Absol subscriptions on your theme. The onboarding process will detect that you have enabled the app embed on your theme. Click Launch Your Program to choose a billing plan for the Apple Subscriptions app. Today we'll choose the free plan for this example, but feel free to play around with any of the paid plans as each one comes with a 10-day free trial. Our pricing card below will illustrate the differences between each of the plans. Once you've selected a plan, you'll be taken to the Apple Subscriptions dashboard. Congratulations, you've now finished the Apple Subscriptions onboarding and you're now ready to sell subscriptions on your Shopify storefront. For the rest of the video, we'll be going through the customer experience by doing a test order as well as looking through the customer portal. Let's go take a look at that example product that we made earlier. On this product, you'll see that the widget has shown up on the product page. When we select subscription, we'll see that there's a 10% discount like we set up during the onboarding. Customers are also able to see the subscription detail, which you can set up later in the settings. Once they select add to cart, the item will be added to cart with the name of the subscription added to that product. If you go to the cart, you'll see it'll say monthly subscription. Once the customer is ready to pay for their subscription, you can go to the checkout screen. Shopify will automatically detect a subscription in the checkout. On the right side, there will be a total reflecting the shipping and the subtotal amount. 
The recurring subtotal is also shown below the total itself. The customers have to put in their email address, their delivery information, as well as choose a shipping plan for their subscriptions. Customers are required to put in a credit card for their subscriptions. We have pre-filled one for this example. Lastly, the customer must select Pay Now, agreeing to all the terms of the subscription itself. After a successful billing, they'll be greeted by the thank you page for your Shopify storefront. Apple subscriptions will show and manage your subscription button in the middle of the page to allow them to access their customer portal. Clicking this link will immediately open the customer portal without any need to log in from the customer's side. From this portal, the customer is able to make many changes for their subscription, including shipping their next order, skipping their order, or even changing quantities and totals of each of the subscription items. Adding new products to the subscription is extremely easy using the menu below the subscription total. They can also change their shipping info and their payment details from this menu. Shipping addresses can be changed from this menu directly. If they have more than one shipping address, Shopify will update this menu accordingly. To update payment info, Shopify will send an email to update the credit card number. Otherwise, they can choose a saved payment method through their account if they do have more than one payment method. Customers can also apply discount codes on their subscriptions. And finally, they can pause and cancel their subscription in the bottom right corner here. Congratulations on completing the Apsol subscriptions onboarding. We have a full video tutorial library as well as a 24-7 support team. Select the blue button in the bottom right corner to send us a message, and one of our members will be with you within 2-5 to five minutes. Again, thank you so much for choosing Apple subscriptions, and I hope you have a great day.